This is Ozark's Fox AM. Welcome back to the second hour of Ozark's Fox AM. I'm Kelly Smith. And I'm Jeremy Rabe. Thanks for tuning in on this Monday after the 4th of July holiday. <laughs> I had to throw that out there. You sure did. What happened to the Marvelous Monday? <laughs> oh, I forgot. Marvelous Magnificent Monday. There you go. I really feel like singing. What do you want to sing? <laughs> <laughs> I do. Well, we get to hear music in our ear in between commercials and different things. It mm -hmm. kind of gets us in the mood. And let me just say, your little routine you did over there was pretty cool to Thank the you. disco. I love me some Bee Gees. We've Don't been you? listening to disco music mm -hmm. today. It's like Disco Monday. I, that's true. Disco Monday. I like uh, it. And yeah, and I've done a lot of sh themed decades shows in mm -hmm. Branson. So if they play 50s music, I know a million 50s routines. Yeah. If they play some 70s, I got some disco routines. <laughs> I'm not doing it right now, though. <laughs> but thanks a lot, Jeff Codner. <laughs> it's so good, though. This music is so oh, great. Isn't just, it night mm. fever? Oh, yeah. It reminds me of the days when I used to mm -hmm. go uh, uh, skating. <gasps> oh. I went skating all the time. Did you? Did uh, I what? Did you couple skate? Oh yeah. Did you hold boys' hands? Yeah, and then I tried to do the thing where I I would go backwards. You know? <laughs> do you ever see? I sang this it, on a cruise ship too. It takes you into a whole new it another does. realm. It does. It's so great. Yeah. Disco Mondays. Anyway, how was your four-day weekend? Um. Oh, gosh, it's, that music is so good, it's hard to even talk it about is. anything. It is. It is hard to talk. It was a great weekend, and <laughs> yes, got a lot of stuff done around the house, yeah. which I told you I was going to do, yes. just getting stuff done, mm -hmm. um, picked a few things from the garden that hadn't been ruined from all the rain. Right. So, no uh, root rot. <laughs> you know what? That's your favorite word of the summer. I'm going to get you a t-shirt that says hashtag root rot. <laughs> You know what? I don't know why. I do like that word. You, I think you look. I, <laughs> you look I'm at glad. my face and you start laughing because you knew what I was saying. I, I think if we had a word of the day, it should be root rot next time. I we agree. haven't done a word of the day this week yet. I agree. I don't that know why it's a fun. <laughs> She's lost it. She's officially lost it. I really am. And it, what's sad uh, is it's a really sad thing to watch your plans die right in front of your eyes. Well, I'm sorry, but you have a lot that are not dead, and right. that's a good thing. So. I, you know, I have a few squash zucchini coming up and some onions and peppers and stuff. Hey, and can I tell you, I've what? got one tomato that's ripening I'm very excited about. But it's on the ground. It's so heavy. What should oh, I yeah. do? You get, I would leave it. And if, as soon as it starts turning a little red, yeah. pick it and let it ripen in the house. Oh, really? Because yes. it's doing that. Pick it and put it in the house and let it ripen. So the critters don't get it. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. And it's know. on the ground, which okay. you need to get off the ground. Um, right. Alisa Rafa, <laughs> uh, how was your weekend, 4th of July weekend? <laughs> Um, it was good. It worked, uh, but we had a lot of fun here. We, Joe and I, grilled so much on the fourth: burgers, hot dogs, shrimp, asparagus, grilled peaches. We Which I did, by the way. I sent you a picture. Delicious, right? It was so, wonderful. Did lots of cooking and then enjoyed the women's World Cup yesterday. So good weekend. Um, we've got some clowns out there this morning. It's pretty quiet. Warm though. Temperatures are in the 70s. It's already 77 in Springfield, 73 in Monette, and 76 in Fort Leonard. Dew points are in the upper 60s and lower 70s. Uh, so we've got these dew points again, very soupy and saturated and uh, thick, that air that you can wear, right? Just at the top of the muggy meter. If you have to head out for some errands this morning or uh, going to work, go have some dry roads. Scattered showers and storms start to pop later on this afternoon and evening. So ice cream, everybody loves that, right? We'll have some, maybe some decent melting out there, 88 degrees. If you want to get that cone in quick, we'll have a couple of showers and storms possible. I think especially for the south and west corner of the area, uh, right here is where we have a front hanging out. So that will probably be the meeting zone for a lot of these storms. And then uh, drier conditions to the north and east. Storms collapse by sunset. We're looking at some clouds. The temperature is in the 70s overnight. And then Tomorrow we do it again. More showers and storms with temperatures up near 90. So if you need to mow the lawn, we're looking at some spotty showers and storms today and tomorrow. I don't think you'll get washed out, but you want to check because if one of those storms are near you, you don't want to be out there with heavy rain and lightning mowing the lawn, right? So we have that chance through Wednesday. We dry out on Thursday. A cold front comes through. We'll have less humid air roll through uh, by Thursday, but then it cranks again by Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Temperatures in the lower 90s will feel closer to 100. So storm chances through Wednesday. Here comes a cold front, less humid on Thursday, and then the heat cranks again with lower 90s this weekend. Jeremy Kelly. Alisa, I do want to thank them because on 4th of July, her yeah. and Joe were outside grilling and they showed these grilled peaches. So I tweeted Alisa and go, how do I do this? Yeah. You tweeted me back, oh my gosh, 
It was so right? you delicious. Did it. Well, the I did it. Peaches are so great right now. This is peach time, and I've had several myself, but not grilled. Right. You know, I did, oh, Elisa, no. just because you know you were saying here's what we did. Well, I grilled them. Mm -hmm. Then one of the recipes I found online said if you put maple syrup on top oh, of it. Oh yeah. So I got my homemade maple syrup. I was syrup. gonna say you have some of that homemade uh, stuff left. And that lasts oh, forever, right? Wow. Yes. So I I then brushed on the homemade maple syrup, set it on the vanilla ice cream. Oh, God boy. bless America. Oh, that my was goodness. Good. I bet That's that was That's what amazing. I said. <laughs> Look at your face. Your face. I said, who needs hamburgers and hot dogs on the 4th of July when you oh, have grilled peaches oh, and ice cream? Like, okay. I don't need a burger if I have that. Like, wow. That sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah. It was so good. That yeah, sounds I was like, amazing. oh. That I, so thank you, thank you and the Daybreak crew for yeah. bringing that because otherwise I, I don't think I would have thought of that. I, I wouldn't. It was a Lauren Barnes idea and I stole some of the grilled peaches and I'll have that for lunch today. <laughs> <laughs> They're in <Perfect>. my fridge. <laughs> I'm going to put it back in the oven. That sounds so, yeah. delicious. you got to try, try it. That. Well, yeah, next time so we good. do a show outside on a Monday, we yes. should do that for our show and yes. then I'll bring my maple syrup. You will. You'll yes. share that with us. Thank you very much. I will. Thank you. Begrudgingly. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Elisa. You're welcome. All right, coming up, we're talking watermelons, oh, yeah. the Cave City Watermelon Festival. Is coming up later this month. Yeah. We'll find out all the details. That's coming up. Here we go. Yeah.